was too dangerous to enter the cabin and they found no trace of the three crewmen who drowned. And that's the news at 8.31. You are the sunshine of my life. Well, now, I had a letter from 65 Harris Drive in Kirkcaldy in Faith in Scotland. Yeah, hey! Says, Dear Steve, this is just a short note to wish you all the best for your first show on Saturday. Hope you have as much success and good fun with Radio 1 as you obviously had last year. <laughs> that's what he says. Very happy new year to you, and that's love from Elaine Kerr. Also, Anthony Ryan of One Brayton Place in Wimmer in Leeds sends his good wishes. Thank you very much indeed. Now then, talking of Stevie Wonder, uh, don't forget on Monday, Simon Bates has the Stevie Wonder hit file. He's also got the Golden Hour and First to Last. And at 11 o'clock on Monday... <laughs> <laughs> a spine-chilling new Radio 1 high drama called Leyworth Hall. Apparently a tale of love and intrigue set in 19th century England. Watch out, Dallas. It's 25 to 9. This is My Girl Madness. My girl's mad at me. Well, I think that's an absolutely amazing record from Madness. That's called My Girl. 23 minutes to nine. Radio One. Have you ever thought about names? There's some great names about. Uh, there's a new book out at the moment which is called Remarkable Names of Real People. Uh, compiled, believe it or not, by a guy called John Train. <laughs> who actually wrote it at 125 miles an hour. My girlfriend, Susan, you know, she collects names. And she collects names whereby the Christian name relates to the surname. Uh, the top five, which I thought you might be interested in because uh, they've uh, caused me some uh, amusement over the past few months. Red Buttons is one that I think's great. Uh, Minor Bird, model and socialite. Lawn Green is a terrific name, isn't that great? The ex-star of Bonanza. Slim Pickens is great, he's a country singer and actor. And the number one amusing name is actor Rip Torn. I actually saw it on the credits of a film. Rip Torn is his name. Other amusing names which come under a special financial section include Eddie Money and Wally Tax and Johnny Paycheck. Now, if you spot any funny names in magazines or on film credits or on album covers or whatever, then mail me a card to Steve Wright, BBC Radio 1, London W1A4WW. Funny names, please. That's it, lads. Open wide. Pass out the pages. Spirits having flown. Never now listen, I'm not making excuses. I have a terrible cold tonight. I don't know why, I just do. So don't get too near your radios, but I used to be able to do a, a pretty good Bee Gees impression. By the way, um, I'm going to try a few impressions over the weeks to come. Uh, they're not very good, I just do them for fun, really. And I used to do a Bee Gees impression that used to go... <clears throat> hang on a minute. Don't bring your love to me. But it used to be a lot better, actually. Oh, hang on a minute, here comes... Yeah, what's that? The, eight, the 842, is it? Central line? Well, why don't they get... Why don't they do something about... Do you know, I think it might be a really good idea if we had a little tunnel built from the studio, and then I'd, it saved me going down to Oxford Circus, catching the tube home. You'd step straight on it. This is very Tubeway Army-ish. It's from a guy called John Fox. Well, that might be an appropriate record after talking about the underground. That's Underpass, John Fox. Very, very Gary Newmanish. We'll be talking about bands and fashion and all sorts of things for the 80s a little later on. And as I say, if you're into the movies, we'll be having a look at one or two of the films that are around this week. There are some really good ones out at the moment, actually. It's a quarter to nine. You're on Radio 1, 285 275 with Steve Wright. Have a listen to this. Announcing this year's Pop Poll on Radio 1, the British Rock and Pop Awards. Radio 1, in association with TV's Nationwide and The Daily Mirror, are holding Britain's largest annual poll. During the next few days, you listeners, along with the viewers of BBC's Nationwide and the readers of The Daily Mirror, are asked to submit your votes for five categories. So, get a pen and paper ready, and shortly, Andy and I will give you the categories and tell you how to get your nominations in the post. Thank you, Sexy. Those details coming up after this one from KC, which is very, very high in the American charts at the moment. It's number one in some charts. 
And it's for Lorraine of 20 Prescott Avenue in Mansfield in Nottinghamshire, who says, Dear Steve, welcome to Radio 1 and Britain. And would you play me a record? All right, darling, you got it. The British Rock and Pop Awards. All we want you to do is to write down your British nominations for the following categories. Best Male Singer. Best Female Singer. Best Group or Band. Best Single. And Best LP. Remember, all your nominations must be chosen from last year, 1979. Here are some examples of people who are eligible. For a start then, male singers who came on strong in 79. Gary Newman. <laughs> Bob Geldof Elvis Costello And many more like Sting, Dave Edmonds, Cliff Richard and Ian Jury And here's Steve Wright with Category 2 Yes, in Category 2, British female singers from 1979 Janet Kaye band or group of 1979. Plenty of choice, including the police. ELO. Shubway Army. Squeeze. It's not like they on this. And you might also remember Racy, Bajam, Supertramp, and Fleetwood Mac. Category 4 is where you take a look through the British singles you bought in 1979 and pick out your favourite. Was it Sad Cafe? The Buggles. Remember, it's your own favourite British single that you write down. Category 5, the last one, is your nomination for the best British album of 1979. ELO's Discovery. Jerry Rafferty's Night Owl. And The Wall from Pink Floyd. And album-wise, you could add to those Breakfast in America from Supertramp or maybe Armed Forces by Elvis Costello. So, I'll just repeat the five categories for your nominations. Remember, it's British Awards for the year 1979. Category 1, Best Male Vocalist. Category 2, Best Female Vocalist. Category 3, Best Group or Band. Category 4, The Best Single. And Category 5, the best LP. There'll be several other special awards presented in addition to those you choose from Nationwide, The Daily Mirror and The Radio 1 DJs. But all you have to do is to get your votes in on a postcard to the British Rock and Pop Awards, BBC Radio 1, London W1A 4WW. That's the British Rock and Pop Awards, BBC Radio 1, London W1A 4WW. Just write your own name and address on a postcard and list your five nominations. A few lucky voters will be invited later to join us for a fantastic day out at the award ceremony. Rock and Pop Awards, quite simple really. Listen out for more details on Radio 1 throughout the week. It's two minutes tonight on 285 and 275, Saturday night with Steve Wright. At 10 o'clock tonight, it's Al Matthews with Funk and Soul, live from Manchester, and Discovate. Yeah, right on, brother. I'd like to say good evening to Leslie and Beryl Reed. <laughs> no, it's not that Beryl Reed. In actual fact, it's Mike Reed's mum and dad. 
and they sent me a card wishing me lots of luck and the reason I mention it is because I thought it might be nice to mention Mike Reed so Mike Reed right that's done we used to do a program together actually on another wireless station called the Read and Write show clever stuff eh okay here comes our second track from our live session tonight it's the beat and this is called twist and crawl That's the beat and twist and crawl and if you're interested in seeing the beat you might like to know that on January the 10th they're at Cascade in Shrewsbury, uh, Leicester Polytechnic on the 11th, on the 12th, Walsall West Midlands College, Newcastle University on the 19th, on the 21st of this month they're at York College of Ripon and St John, Reading University, yes I know it well, the 22nd of January, 23rd is Birmingham Top Rank, Bournemouth Stateside on the 24th, on the 25th Brighton Polytechnic and the London Electric Ballroom on the 26th. So those are the Beat Tour dates. We've got one more track coming up from the Beat a little later on. Maybe they could be the band of 1980, who knows? It's interesting, you know, there's a lot of discussion, especially at record companies and radio stations, as to who are going to be the bands and the stars and faces of 1980. Uh, Bo Derrick, which is a strange name, I know, the new sex symbol and star of the movie 10 could be a big name this year, or it could be Roger Vadim's new discovery, 32-year-old Cindy Pickett. She looks nice. As for the bands, well, can the police stay there, I wonder? What about the Pretenders and Gary Newman? Could they go on to better things? I think so myself. My personal tip, however is a lady called Ellen Foley, who's uh, ex-Meatloaf, and she's got a great album out called Night Out. If I can persuade Ted to play a track from that next week, we'll stick it on next week. She's also coming over to the UK soon to promote her new single, so watch out for that. Ellen Foley. Now then, here's Fleetwood Mac, followed up by Thin Lizzy. Two songs called Sarah. 275285. called Sarah, the first one from Fleetwood Mac, of course. Then Phil Lennon and Thin Lizzy, Sarah. It's 11 minutes past nine, 285275, Radio 1, that's 1,053 kilohertz, 1,089 kilohertz, and of course on some local radio frequencies tonight. So hello to you lot. In fact, good evening, whatever you're doing. <laughs> I hope you're not doing anything too naughty. Have you concentrated tonight on our lateral thinker? I'll pose it again because I'm a bit of a poser. Uh, tonight's teaser, I'll give you the answer at the end of the program. Picture a field which is empty apart from two pieces of coal, a scarf, a pipe, and a hat. And this one is actually so simple. I mean, it's so simple, Ted Beston's already got it right. So it, it must be simple. The question is, how did they get there and why? Okay, that's a field which is empty apart from two pieces of coal, a scarf, a pipe, and a hat. The question is, how did they get there and why? Remember, there's uh, nobody in the field so how did they get there? And the answer, you just will not believe it when I give it to you. It's so easy, man. Radio 1! Movie star, movie star. You say you're going to be the movie. Right, then, we've got a track from Regatta de Blanc from the police coming up in just a moment. Now, each week, I'm going to make an attempt to keep you up to date with a few bits of movie news. Uh, the obvious films to talk about this week are Star Trek and The Black Hole, so I'm not going to talk about them except to say there's a possibility I read with interest of a Star Trek sequel, either this year or next. However, movies to look out for this year include sequels to Star Wars and Superman, and look out for a bloke called Sam J. Jones in the title role of a multi-million dollar space fantasy called Flash Gordon. Seems like a nice boy. Uh, which they're shooting right now at Shepparton and Elstree, and even in parts of Weybridge. Alex Raymond is the guy who originally wrote the comic strip all about the adventures of Flash, who's an Earthling, but has many adventures in other worlds. In the movie, his adventures take place on the planet Mongo, as he battles his way through cities in the sky, frozen kingdoms, and an underwater world of lizard people. Uh, this week around the cinemas, up and down the country, you can see Peter Sellers. Ah, yes, the old Peter Sellers ploy. I know it well. In a remake of the classic The Prisoner of Zender, his wife, Lynn Frederick, is also in that. It's also rumoured that he might do another Clouseau film. Other movies to watch out for were Bell Up Bear Island, uh, The Yanks, Caravans and Meteor are also good ones to see. I have more movie news for you next week. Here come the police. Nice track from Regatta de Blanc from the police. That's called Contact. It's 9.15 on Radio 1. Now then, if you have any observations about the programme, maybe you think it's rubbish or it should come off, 
I'd love to hear from you. It's Steve Wright, BBC Radio 1, London, W1A4, WW. Observations, maybe things you'd like to hear. Love to hear from you. It's Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow, who's been sleeping in my bed? <laughs> Wasn't me. I do not know who has been sleeping in your bed. Not a lot of people do. There's something to think about when you snuggle down to your bed tonight. The average person spends at least a third of his or her life in bed. That's a third of each day, eight hours. It's unbelievable. And I thought of something I bet nobody's tried out yet. What about sleeping for ten solid days and staying up for the rest of the month? That would save, save a bit of bother, don't you think? Yeah? I mean, just think of the advantages. You never get a hangover. You only have to set your alarm once, and you only ever make the bed once. I, I thought that was a good idea. Please yourself. Radio One. You're listening to Steve Wright on Radio One. You've got a friend, the happy sound of Radio One. Thank you, pal. It's 919. Here comes a brand new single from the Commodores. This is their follow-up to, um, what was their last one? Steel. Steel. This is lovely. It's called Wonderland. You might have heard it yesterday on the wireless. On the round table. Got pretty good reviews, actually. I used to love those old records of the Manhattans and also Barry White, you know, with a bit of talking on it. Hey, baby, this is going to be the best moment of my life. And all that kind of stuff. I love that. Commodores. All right. That's called Wonderland. I'd like to say hello to my godson, Joshua, who has amazing writing for a two-year-old, written to me saying, please don't forget my birthday. I wouldn't. I wasn't going to anyway. And also, good evening to those of you who might be having a party tonight. <laughs> would, you, would you turn it down? Al Matthews is your man. Bit of funk and soul coming up at 10 o'clock. By the way, turn that down, but... Turn it down, dear. <laughs> Trevor Francis is on Star Special at 7 p.m. tomorrow night here of Nottingham Forest. And don't forget Alexis Corner here of the brown dulcet dos tone at 9 p.m. I thought Alexis Corner was just left of Leicester Square, actually. At 10.02 is Peter Clayton with Jazz. Meanwhile, on Monday after 9, after DLT, it's Simon Bates with the Golden Hour, first to last, and Stevie Wonder hit file. And don't forget that brand new spine chilling Radio 1 high drama, Layworth Hall. I just can't wait to hear it. Here's something that's slightly Fleetwood Mackey, actually, from Joe Jackson. I say, what a lovely, lovely bit of bass there. You know Joe Jackson. Whose last hit was Something's Going On Around Here. Have you made any New Year's resolutions? I've got a couple of New Year's resolutions, and that's to get a car on the road after my car seized up on the M4 just before I went abroad, and also to fatten myself up. Uh, the tuck has arrived. We have some biscuits and some chocolate and some coffee and an apple tonight. Great stuff. I love it. So I'm going to fatten myself up. I'm about nine stone, actually. I want to get myself up to about... 10 or 11 stone, I think. That's my New Year's resolution. Also to play some good music on Radio 1. Like this, this is our third and final song from the beat. It's called Mirror in the Bathroom. That's the third and final track from the Beat Nice session. Uh, just a quick reminder of the immediate tour dates from the Beat. January 10th is the Cascade in Shrewsbury, Leicester Polytechnic on the 11th. On the 12th, we've got Warsaw West Midlands College, and on the 19th, Newcastle University. 21st, York College of Ripon and St. John, Reading University on the 22nd. Great stuff. Weekend, 275 and 285. Steve Wright, Radio 1. One of my favourite all-time oldies, this, from The Rod. Do anything you want to do. 1977, that was The Rods. Do anything you want to do. Once had the great pleasure to interview The Rods down at the Reading Festival. Great stuff. Funny enough, John Peel was down there at the time. And I remember it was his birthday on that very day. Mind you, I don't know how old he is. <laughs> Up and coming tours for the week ahead. Well, we'll have a look at those just after this. 
This is beautiful. My favourite at the moment. It's my very favourite. It's John Anderson and Van Gelis. That's one for folk driving around the UK tonight. Drive carefully. Don't drink and drive. Use your common sense. That's called I Hear You Now, and it's Van Gelis and John Anderson. It's 23 minutes to 10, up and coming tours for the week ahead until midweek. Well, we've got Blondie and support band Whirlwind in Birmingham on Monday. George McRae, Rocky Baby, in Derby. The Vipers in London. On Tuesday, The Clash are in Brighton. Underrated band Alan Clayson and the Argonauts. Clayson and the Argonauts in London on Tuesday. The Beat in Exeter is already mentioned in Wednesday, on Wednesday. Uh, the Clash in Brighton on Wednesday. Lambretta's in London. And The Boys in London also. Other good things going on this week. Well, a variety of pantos in various cities up and down the country. Isn't it a shame Mike Reed didn't get the part of Peter Pan? He tried so hard. It's true, that. January sales. Watch out for pickpockets. Do you know? Listen, this week I was walking along Oxford Street a couple of days ago and I had my wallet in my back pocket. This is absolutely true and I could not believe it. I had my wallet in the back of my pocket and as I was walking along I, I felt a sort of strange hand on my back pocket and a guy had actually nicked my wallet. So I turned around to him and I said, You blighter, sir, I said. You know, sort of nice and polite like that, you can imagine. I said, Damn you, sir, come here with my wallet. And he said, oh, you know, sorry, mate. He said, um, you know, and all this kind of stuff. So please, if you're going to the January sales, please watch out for pickpockets because they're all over the place. Now then, here comes the tourists. By the way, in addition to all those things we were mentioning just now, there's a big mime festival in London and, of course, the boat show. And uh, we'll give you sort of various tour dates and things going on each Saturday night on the programme. If there's anything in particular that you'd like to hear that you think we're missing out, or if you have any comments on the programme, love to hear them, good or bad, to Steve Wright, BBC Radio 1, uh, London, W1AA for WW. Thank you so much. Right, we have an unusual track for you now uh, from Mike Oldfield from his current album. Have a listen to this, see what you think. I'm waiting to hear the disco version. I Got Rhythm, a track taken from Platinum, which is Mike Oldfield's brand new album. Sorry about my nasal voice tonight. I have a terrible cold, you know. And as you know, part of the royalties from Mike Oldfield's last single went to the Blue Peter Appeal, Cambodia Appeal, which I thought was absolutely magnificent, great. Okay, that's our unusual track for tonight. Was unusual, wasn't it? Don't forget Radio 1 in association with The Daily Mirror and BBC One's Nationwide Show are asking you to vote for the artists and songs that most impressed you during last year. That's 1979. Uh, various categories, and you can hear a trailer which Andy Peebles and I did, uh, which explains all the different categories going out on Radio 1 throughout the week. 275 and 285. Steve Wright. Radio 1. Radio 1, 285, 275 with Steve Wright. My first programme, unusual voice on Radio 1. I'm afraid you've got to get used to it every Saturday night between 7.30 and 10. If you'd like to write to me, please do. Love to hear from you. And uh, what else am I going to say? Oh, yes, I know. The Lateral Thinker will be giving the answer to that in five minutes' time. What a lovely, sweet record that is, don't you think? <laughs> That's cool. I'm lonely tonight, and it's Cleveland Eaton and the Garden of Eaton. What a nice little ditty that is. Released next Friday, that. Great. It's seven minutes to ten. OK, we asked you to picture a field which is empty apart from two pieces of coal, a scarf, a pipe, and a hat. A difficult one? No, I'm afraid not. The question was, how did it get there and why? Remember, there was nobody in the field, so how did they get there? All those items. Do you want to know? You do, don't you? The answer is a melted snowman. Naughty, eh? 
have another lateral thinker for you next week at the same time. Star of many a cool TV show. And also quite a good disc jockey herself, that Susie Quattro. Sounds a bit like sorrow, that, doesn't it, don't you think? A bit like sorrow? No? Oh, all right. That was called Mama's Boy. And that's just about it from me. Uh, when the programme began tonight, I was shaking in my socks. I actually tied my knees to the chair to stop them knocking. <laughs> just a quick reminder, tomorrow morning, Tony Blackburn with Junior Choice. Ten until one, Noel Edmonds. One until three, Jimmy Savile. I was about that then. New show on Radio 1 at three o'clock. It's Rock Requests with Stuart Coleman. And stand by for Al Matthews, who's coming up in just a moment after the 10 o'clock pips. Thank you very much to Julian, my technical operator tonight, and also for uh, producing the show, Ted Beston. Wonderfully produced. This could be the beginning of a long partnership. Let's hope so. Join me next week at the same time. Ta-da. Goodbye to you. It's 10 o'clock on Radio 1. Hi, Steve, and welcome to the team. Thanks very much, Al. Have a good show. Hey, I enjoyed your show very, very much. Great. I'm going to sit down and listen to yours now. Good luck to you, baby cake. Ta-da. Bye. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. My name is Al Matthews, and this is the award-winning Discovating Show. Yes, yes. Welcome, welcome. Two hours of non-stop disco and soul. Only the best. Let's forget the rest. All right. Here comes that sound again. It's Love Deluxe. And I say here it comes again because that's the name of the track, and also it's been remixed. Tell me what you think. Do you think this will make it into the 80s? Ah, uh, cross your toes, baby.